not magical power. You better watch what you say. You're speaking and it's going to happen. You got to watch what you say. You don't say that because if you say it, it's going to manifest. Who taught you that witchcraft? Who, who, who taught you that magic? That is nowhere in the Bible. Not magical power. You better watch what you say. You're speaking and it's going to happen. You got to watch what you say. You don't say that because if you say it, it's going to manifest. Who taught you that witchcraft? Who, who do taught you that magic? That is nowhere in the Bible. I, the reason why I don't hear a lot of amens is because people are checking themselves right now. Checking themselves. Wait, wait. Amen. It is important that we correct your theology. So this way you can have the benefit of the Bible. But when you start applying things that you've heard by TikTok or, or Facebook or, or false preachers, then you're going to wind up jacked up because that's not the scriptures. Everything that you hear, you need to check it with the book. Everything that you hear, no matter who the preacher is, inclusive of myself, you need to check it with the book. You hear what I'm saying? Because if it's really the word, then I don't have any fear of you checking it because I've already done my research. I've already done my study and God has already breathed that in me to breathe to you. So you can go and double check that, vet it all that you want because that's your job. You don't just swallow whatever's put in front of you. You make sure that it's good. Amen. 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 So you've got to make sure that this is, is something that you comprehend and understand. Words are powerful. They have power, but not magical power. Hallelujah. They don't have the power to create. Our words do not have the power to create. And men's are getting less and less. What is wrong with these people? Words do not have the power to create. Well, no, you got to be careful because the Bible said, speak those things which are not, as, as though they be. No, 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 no. It says God does that, not man. There's a dead zone in here somewhere. <laughs> Only God can speak that which is not as though it were. Man does not have the power to do that. I decree. No, no. Only the king can decree. You can declare what the king decrees. But you can't make any decree. We live by the kingdom's order. We live by the kingdom structure. The king makes a decree and we declare the decree. I'm trying to help you. I decree and declare. Stop listening to all these people on online. I decree and declare. Just because you shake your voice like Martin Luther the King don't mean that you're right. I decree and declare no hush because it's not about what you decree it's about what the king decrees oh put, put that to your study check what I'm saying check what I'm saying amen our, our words don't have the power to create our words do not have the power to make manifest, manifest, manifest. Holy Spirit, activate. No, we don't have that power. Amen. Amen. I call on the angels to come. You don't have no power to call on no angels. You don't have no power to call. See, we, we make this thing magic and spooky. I call upon the angels of the Lord to come. God assigns that. 
God has given angels charge. Somebody help me here. Y'all, y'all making me nervous. I call upon the ministering angels. Oh, my dear. Who gave you that false sense of authority? You speak to God and God dispatches according to his will. Hallelujah. And we think that our, we think that our words are magical. Well, our words are not magical. Our words are not magic. But our words have the power of influence. It's not the power of magic. It's the power of influence. Hallelujah. Your words are productive or abortive. The words you speak are productive or abortive one of the two and the reason why a lot of us suffer longer than we should is because of the abortive words that we speak hallelujah because the words that come out of your mouth really come out of your heart Jesus said in the book of Matthew, Jesus said in the book of Matthew 12, chapter 20, 30, 34th verse, he says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. To speak, don't just come out of your head, it comes out of your heart. And what you speak out of your heart through your mouth affects your thinking. What you speak out of your heart through your mouth, it, 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 it impacts thought. I'm trying not to be so cerebral. What's in your heart that comes out of your mouth creates and impacts thought. If you say enough, I can't do, then you convince yourself that you don't have the ability to do. I can't should not be in the Christian's vocabulary. Amen. Amen. I can't, by way of prohibition, simply means that God said no. Hallelujah. But we don't speak I can't based on our fear.